Okay, hi, so let's look at how to do some simple maths in Python. So we'll open our command line again, just in case we need it, and we'll open idle. And as before, we'll resize the screen, just to make it easier to see. So let's open a new file. Let's, I don't know what we'll call it. Hash program maths stuff. That stuff, colon. And we'll just do simple maths first. Let's say um, adding two numbers together. So let's print out 10 plus 7. And we'll do our end. And we'll save this as that stuff. So we're saying to Python print out 10 plus 7. So it prints out 17, 10 plus 7 is absolutely 17. Perfect. If we want to make that a bit fancier, we can print out inverted commas 10 plus 7 is equal to comma. So if we do 10 plus 7 equals all invert commas and then comma 10 plus 7, it will print out 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. Perfect. Nice. So that's your basic adding. If we want to do subtraction, it's the minus sign. What's 10 minus 7? Save it. And run it. And 10 minus 7 is 3. Let's do multiplication. 10 star 7 multiply. It's represented by the star sign. And run that. And we see 10 multiplied by 7 is 70. Now let's do division. So if we use a slash, and divide 10 into 7, and run that. 10 into 7 is 1.428571, etc. We'll note about the division, and division in Python is like division in a lot of programming languages. It gives you a few different options on how to do your division. So, for example, um, if, if we look at this example in particular, we're dividing numbers 10 and 7. The operands or values 10 and 7 are whole numbers or integers, but our result is a real number. So 1.42 is a real number. So as well as what we call regular division, Python does allow us to do what's called integer division, which means do the division, but just return the integer part of the division. So tell me how many times 7 goes into 10 but you could just give me the whole number answer, and that's slash slash. So if we run that, 7 goes into 10 once. That's what it tells us. It goes into, it goes into 10 once, and some remainder. The remainder is 3 in this case. So we, we might call that the integer division, and then if we want to do division remainder, we use the percentage symbol to represent that. And if we do 10 percentage 7, it says what remainder occurs when we divide 7 into 10. We know what it is. Let's see it. 10 division remainder 7 gives us 3. That is to say, 3 is left over when we've divided 7 into 10. So that's your basic maths in Python. We can do addition, subtraction, and multiplication as normal. We can do normal division, integer division, and division remainder as well. Thanks very much.